Sometimes last year, on a beautiful Sunday evening, I was at home in my bedroom, relaxing with a movie when I suddenly heard a continuous scream from my neighbor's apartment. The scream was coming from my neighbor's nine-year-old daughter. Instinctively, I jumped down from my bed and dashed towards the apartment. In my neighbor's bedroom, I found a young girl stooping over her then 39-year-old father, who was convulsing on the floor. It was a sad sight. Well, not knowing what to do, I called some neighbors to help me. Fortunately, the man was saved, his health was restored, and soon he was back to normal. But here's the cause of what happened to him. His medical report revealed he had lived a sedentary life, always sitting nearly 18 hours a day behind a desk, exerting himself mentally as a creative person. He eats too much salt, never exercises, and has a very bad rest and sleeping habit. In short, just by his lifestyle, he has been designing his death plan for many years without knowing. Most young people think they can eat their cake and have it, that they can maintain a frivolous lifestyle and escape it. No, you can't. Like it or not, the axiom is still true that you reap what you sow, you become what you have invested in. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you 9 lifestyle changes young people make too late. If you're new here, subscribe to our channel so you don't miss interesting videos like this. 1. Exercise a lot I didn't realize the impact of exercise until recently when I started getting involved in it. Not only does it rejuvenate you physically, but it also helps your emotions. Vigorous exercise is essential, especially if your work requires you to sit a lot. A recent study found some of the benefits of exercise were spoiled by prolonged periods of sitting. Try taking the stairs or taking short walks around your office at the top of every hour. 2. Sleep well 7-9 to nine hours each night Tell young people to get 8 hours of deep sleep. It's like telling them you want them to be lazy. I didn't believe this too, until I became insomniac for a year and a half after maintaining a bad sleeping pattern for years. If you're skipping one hour of sleep each night, your obsessity risk rises to 23%. You need to sleep for 7-9 to nine hours each night. If you have trouble getting sleep, use calming essential oils, eat sleep-promoting foods, or try learning from your sleep patterns by wearing a track watch like the Weaving Still HR. 3. Eat healthily This is my observation. Foods that are essential to keeping you healthy and giving you longer life are far cheaper than foods that will kill your body and ruin your life. But why do most people indulge in the latter more? I don't know. But perhaps our taste buds love what is sweet. Fruits and vegetables may not be sweet, but they are cheaper and will give you a longer and healthier life. Carbonated drinks and other processed foods will only ruin your life the more you consume them. Good fats from fruits like avocado, olive oil, fatty fish and nuts are essential for immune system function, fat burning, feeling full and glowing skin. Eat healthily and you will be eating yourself mentally, psychologically and emotionally. 4. Drink water a lot If there is anything that never kills you no matter how much of it you take, it's water. And it does your body, your kidney and your liver a whole lot of good. I don't care if you have to hang a bottle around your neck all day, just make a habit of drinking water as much as possible throughout the day. Drinking enough water, ideally 6 to 4 inches or 8 ounces of glass per day, will lead to more energy, better skin and maybe even weight loss. 5. Protect your eyes I use glasses now, recommended by my ophthalmologist. It's sad, but it's from years of staring at the computer screen without control. In an age where most works are done behind the computers, and mostly young people literally live inside their computer devices, use 20-20-20 rule at work to keep eye strain at bay. Every 20 minutes, look at something 20 feet away for 20 seconds. 6. Manage your stress You can die from stress. Seriously. Stress causes an increase in cortisol levels. When it comes to excessive or ongoing, this can have a negative impact on your health. We all have some type of stress in our lives. How we handle those stresses is what matters. To handle your stress, sleep 7-9 to nine hours per night and always take time to relax and get away from work or whatever triggers your stress. 7. Reduce your alcohol intake Wide moderate alcohol consumption is considered safe for some people. There are many alcohol-related health risks that aren't apparent until later in life. Dietary guidelines for Americans recommend that you drink up to one drink per day for women and two drinks per day for men. Alcohol is high in calories and dehydrating, and cutting back has benefits. Keep your alcohol intake down to save your health. 8. Manage your weight properly You don't have to deny yourself of calories because you're trying to maintain a healthy weight. Find out other things you can do to help with weight management, exercise regularly, get a good night's sleep, engage in stress-reducing activities. Stress is your enemy when you are trying to lose weight because it results in increased hormone levels, cortisol, which results in increased carb cravings. 9. 
regular medical checkup. This is so important. A monthly or once in three months visit to your doctor will save you a lot of headache and expenses and bad health later in the future. I learned this the hard way. Start early, and you will save yourself the needless stress. In summary, set goals that are realistic and achievable. You may not be able to feed all of these habits in one day. I still talk to my wife this morning to please encourage our intake of vegetables and fruits, even though she is a pharmacologist. Setting unrealistic goals will only result in disappointment and may cause you to give up on your journey. If your goal involves pounds lost, one of two pounds weekly is a reasonable weight loss goal. If your goal is to eat fewer sweeteners, you may need to involve the help of friends and families so they can caution you should you want to back out. If you need to exercise, visit your doctor or do anything that improves your health. Start small and commit to it. You won't have to make needless expenditure on hospital bills later in the future. If this video inspired you, like the video. We love you.